All right, I'm back. Let's see if we can do at least five more. Sure, go ahead, man. Sure, sounds good. Just because they're both animals and they have pink does not mean they sound like each other. Come on. Come on. Stronger connections than that.
silly. Yeah, so I was thinking Maltese Falcon. But then I was thinking, uh, what was that? There was a comic I read that had a stuffed bear who was a cop. What was that? Then I thought Chucky, and it kind of turned out a little bit uh, to be a little bit hacks, hack slash slash. <laughs> A drink, eh? What kind of drink was it going to be? Interesting. That sounds pretty neat, actually. that that's my kind of my point though Drani is like that that's a lot of what I'm trying to say that anything can be an inspiration and the point is is not to is not to worry about what kind of idea you're having or whether the idea is good it's it's to just write the idea to put it down you can you can work on it. You can do different things. Make it interesting.
Even sexy llamas. I could totally turn sexy llamas into a prawn. I'm not going to, but I could. There are a surprising number of uh, comics about teddy bears. Just for the record. <laughs> Just for the record. Can't find it, no idea. Damn, that's... Though this seems super cute. <laughs> Dragon Falconry, uh, that was uh, Naomi Novak. Her Majesty's Dragon. His Majesty's Dragon? His Majesty's Dragon. It's so cool. Is that a prompt or is that a thing that I should know? <laughs> nice. I own a lot more books, uh, digital comics than I thought I did. <laughs> a lot more. Okay. Let's 
write that down. Oh, well, doesn't matter. I'll find it later, because I really want to know. I'll tweet it out. It's going to bug me. It's going to totally bug me until I find it. So did the Llama Kings. All right, I'll take it. Bye, Andrani. You win. That's not really, well, <laughs> I was going to say, that's not really a prompt, that's a fact, but I already said facts can be prompts and you can make a prompt out of anything, so be kind of particular, co contradictory. story about that once about a superhero who had a secret identity and really uh, and a arch nemesis and they were all facets of this one guy's personality Secret. It's called a secret identity for a reason.
<laughs> I won't. I was thinking about it. I I actually thought about it, but no. That's fine. Well, apparently this is a thing. Now the best part about that teddy bear comic is it's supposed to be a noir comic. Hey, weird one, what's up, man?
Oh, I found it. <laughs> found it. It's all about imaginary friends gone wild. And there's a teddy bear. Yes. Found it. Boom. Done. Cool. All right. I think that's it for that today. How many did I do? One, two, three, four, five, six, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Perfect. So there you have it. There you have it. So today I've spent a lot of time talking about art and originality and starting from a blank canvas, a, a blank uh, screen, a new document. I was trying to get across sort of this idea of originality, of what originality means um, and how I don't personally think that original ideas really exist. It's all a matter of adapting, adapting all those things that we pick up on in our day-to-day -day lives. Um, yeah, for sure. And, and also to continue on that, like staring at the, bra the blank screen, like trying to figure out your idea. Honestly, the best, the best advice I can give you is just draw, write, do something. Um, it's not gonna be good the first time. But that's not the point. The point is to get your brain focused, to get your brain thinking about what you actually wanna do, about ways to improve the thing that you're putting there. Um, and I'm not a visual artist so much as I hang out with visual artists. So maybe that's a little harder for that medium to do that kind of thing. But in a certain sense, you know, nothing is permanent on the page. You can always redo it. You can always do something different. You can always edit. Um, there's there's nothing stopping you, other than yourself, of course. And sometimes it's worth it just to do something to try it, to try a new technique, to try a concept, see if it works. I was talking a lot last week about uh, how short stories are often used as trials for bigger projects. They're a way of exploring a certain thing. Um, like exploring a genre or exploring a character or exploring a setting. <laughs> yeah, e exactly. The human brain definitely does patterns. So yeah, <laughs> it's my, uh, my thesis of today. So yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Today's been good. Today has been good. I will be continuing working on Fear the Siren. Uh, I want to do all of it on stream, and I will. Not today, but in general. Mostly because I just wanted to demonstrate at least once the entire process beginning to end. Uh, I don't know if I would do that in the future. Mostly because it's more tedious than I want it to be. Um, yeah. But other than that, um, expect some changes in the future. I forgot to mention this at the beginning, but uh, I need to change the structure of my website. So there won't be any updates on there for a little bit until I get that sorted out. But I should have it sorted out uh, within the next few weeks or so. Uh, the way it's set up right now is really good. It's just uh, there's no way of me organizing the posts. So the more episodes they go, just get harder and harder to uh, to do it properly. So yeah, I kind of need to change the structure. I'm thinking of doing some revamps, maybe moving some stuff around, uh, but yeah.
So I will be working on that uh, for the next little bit. As well as I'm changing the orientation of my office because there's some space that I'm not using effectively. So expect a kind of a new perspective next week. Um, it's going to be a little different. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Um, do I have any other news? I don't think so. I don't think so. Anyone have any, I haven't done this in a while, I guess, but anyone have any questions for me? Or, uh, want to let me know about anything before, uh, before we close up here? <laughs> yeah, no, sitting in silence, doing my thing. I have 100% stabbed myself in the eye before putting my glasses on. <laughs> so maybe, maybe they're trying to tell me something. Sounds like a rough nightmare. Pretty much. Would it be then if it's uh, if it's the lens of strike back? Would it then be return of the eye? To be honest, my, my answer to that bio is I don't put them in the story. Because it isn't about what you like so much as it, it's about what, uh, I was actually thinking, uh, turn of the bed. I, anyway, um. <laughs> As much as you like them to be in a story, if they're if they if they're not there for a reason, you're probably wasting space on them. So yeah.
yeah, I mean that that makes perfect sense to me too. Or like, if they're if they're really cool characters, save them, use them for something else. But if they don't serve a purpose in the story you're currently writing, then they don't need to be there. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for me for today. Uh, so without further ado, um, my name is Brendan. This is the Accidental Origin, your weekly writing web show. Uh, check us out on Twitter or on the URL below. Though that won't be updated until a couple weeks from now. <laughs> but yeah, uh, thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Bye.